Freak accident. Come to bed. Arthur? It's been a long time. <coughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know, but somebody's clearly gone through a lot of effort to bring us here. Doors are no go. It's locked. Lizzie, do you have a hairpin? It's Elizabeth. What? To you, it's not Lizzie, it's Elizabeth. The door's locked. How about the window? It's a straight ten story drop. Then we're stuck. Surely we're not sticking around for this. I'll be needing that confession. What are you going on about? Who are you? Ask your wife. She knows. I've never seen this man before in my life. I, I, I don't know who you are. After you murder my wife, my children, my friends, my whole town, and from this very room. Worked for a paper company. I made ink. We made ink. I will get an answer from you. And the name is Vansar, if that helps jog your memory. We need to get you to a hospital. Can you stop with all the staring? Forgive me if I don't enjoy being in his company. It's not my fault some basket case locked us in a room with him. That basket case begs to differ. Enough of this. 
Let us go. Confess. Will you let us walk free if I do? I'll let your men walk. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Okay then. I'm not leaving you here. They'll kill you. I saw what happened to Parker in the newspaper. And if you don't go, it could be both of you next. Besides, you need medical treatment. saved lives here. We were going to win the war with chemistry. And you tested your cure for a while, my family, my whole village. I was protecting Britain. Winston Churchill wanted the best and brightest scientists. We created an undetectable chemical to infect enemy crops and force the Nazis into surrender. You picked a village lucky to be destroyed by the war, and your chemicals did its job. You know, there was an elevator once to get out of this building. I didn't hear a thing. What did you do? I lied. This isn't about justice. This is sweet revenge. I really need to get some rest. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> 